So I made a list of the top 100 games on Roblox this year, including a few extra ones that I just enjoyed playing. And well, we're going to be ranking every single one of them. Now, I went ahead and made a category here called Never Played of the Roblox games that I just didn't get around to playing this year. If you see your favorite game in this list, no hate towards it. I just didn't get to play. To keep this nice and organized, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this row and let's get started. Starting off with Ohio. I mean, it was all right. It was pretty good. And it's already time to get controversial because next up we have Blocks Fruits and and I'm going to stick an instant classic. The game has literally become the most popular game in Roblox history. And honestly, I find it pretty fun. It's a little bit grindy, but I find it pretty fun. The boxing game. Now, there's actually a few of these. I'm just going to rank them all as one game because they're all pretty much the same game. They do the same thing. I actually had a lot of fun with these games this year. I'm going to throw it above Ohio in, in good. Epic role play, Liberty County. I mean, it's good. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. Not really my type of game, but the times that I've played it, it's been all right. Meep City. <laughs> Terrible. Let's just get that out of the way. Tower Defense Simulator. I'm going to throw this in good. In fact, I'm going to put it right behind boxing. Same thing with Tower Defense X. Right there in good. And also Toilet Tower Defense too. I'll put it right there in the middle. If you know me, then you know I'm not really the biggest Tower Defense fan, but the games are pretty good. Strongest Battlegrounds. One of my favorite games of the year. I think this is going to be a game that people talk about for years to come. It is an instant classic. Theme Park Tycoon. 2. Okay, we need to adjust something here. I personally don't really like the game because it's not my style of game. I find it a little bit boring, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. So I'm just going to change this category to boring. Again, these are all my opinions. The game is good. It's just not really for me. Slap Battles. I mean, what can I say? That's another instant classic right there. It's a game that people will be talking about for years to come. Kaiju Universe. Okay. I've only played this game a few times, but the times that I have played it, it's actually really really fun. I'm going to throw it right there at the top of good. Creatures of Scenaria. Again, not really my style of game. I don't want to call it a bad game, but to me, it's boring because I just don't really like that style of game. Fan of Forces. You know what? It's an instant classic. It's actually also the first game I ever played on Roblox. It's the whole reason I started playing Roblox. Gotcha online. Um... I mean, I, I don't... Do I put it in terrible? I don't know. I'll throw it in boring for right now. Jailbreak. I mean, what can I say? Instant classic. At this point, Jailbreak's like a six or seven year old game. It's still getting updates. And the fact that it's survived this long shows how good the developers are. Roblox drama. S tier game. Easy S tier. One of the best games on Roblox to play with your friends. Broken Bones 4. I think this is another S tier game. I find this game so much fun and I don't know why. Maybe I just have a thing for pain. That sounds weird. <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Uh, what is this? Blade Ball. So I would put Blade Ball an instant classic, but it's gotten very pay to win lately. And almost all the updates have revolved around some sort of pay to win mechanic. So I, I, I'm going to drop it down to good. Yeah. Yeah sorry. I've never really seen a game go that pay to win that fast. Bloxburg. Um, I mean, recent drama aside, I feel like that's a pretty instant classic right there. Working at pizza place. Easiest instant classic of my life. The hood. I mean, it's kind of a meme game. I'll put it with Ohio. It, it's it's not really meant to be taken seriously, I don't think. Twilight Daycare. Now, it's obviously not my style of game, which would make me want to put it in boring but I think there's a lot more games out there on Roblox that do this way better. Just not to sell mean, I'm going to change terrible to bad. There we go. That'll do it. Don't push this button. I mean, it's another meme game. I'll put it up here with, with Ohio right in the middle. Bad Wars. It has gotten a little pay to win, but I think it's a pretty... <laughs> Do I, do I go instant classic? I feel like I kind of have to really. Yeah, let's go instant classic with Bed Wars. Restaurant Tycoon 2. Um, I've played it. Not really my style of game. I'll just throw it in boring. Again, for me for me. Barry Avenue. It's actually made by a few YouTuber friends of mine. Um, I think the game is good. I think there's a few games that do this role play style a little bit better, but this game does have a really nice charm to it. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right there in good. So Driving Empire, I've played this game. Let me actually make sure I'm thinking of the right game here. Yeah, I am thinking of the right game. This game got very pay to win very fast. I'm actually going to throw it in bad. Hopefully I'm thinking of the right game. Uh, Football Fusion. Again, if you're a football fan, you probably love this game. I don't watch sports or do any Anything with sports. I don't know how football works. I'm going to throw it in boring. Again, this is my list. This is for me. This is my opinion. Royal High. I know there's been a lot of drama in regards to the updates to Royal High. The, the community can be a little bit toxic sometimes. I'm going to throw it in good, though. I'll just put it... I'll put it right there. Funky Friday. Man, when this game came out, 
it was probably an S tier game. And then, well, the Fire Nation attacked. Game Fam took it over. It went extremely pay to win. Almost all the songs got removed. And yeah, it's kind of bad now. Maple Hospital. I mean, I kind of don't want to put it in bad. Like the game is obviously meant to be taken as a joke, but there is some really weird, semi questionable content in here. So I'm just going to put it at the top of bad. All right. It's better than Meep City. This is like what? Easy Obby 100 steps or like almost all the Obby games on Roblox are the same these days. You guys know the exact ones I'm talking about. I'm gonna throw it in boring. There's a bunch of other obby games that do the job better. Steep Steps. I'm gonna throw that in S tier. Same thing with, where's the other one down here? Alta Torture. This one right here. These were really fun games this year. I enjoyed playing them a lot. I think with more updates and a little bit more game mechanics, they could have went in Instant Classic, but I haven't really heard much much from them in, in a few months. Fling everyone. This game's really fun. I'm going to throw it. I'll put it right there in good. Adopt me. Now, I was going to put adopt me in boring because I think a lot of the recent updates have been, well, pretty boring. They haven't really taken a lot of risks. They haven't really done much with the game other than, hey, here's a new egg. Here's some new pets. It's just kind of like the same thing over and over and over again. But recently, their winter update was actually pretty good. There's like an entire story mode game in there now. Like, it, it's actually pretty solid. And because of that, I'm actually going to put it, I'll put it right behind Blade Ball. If they keep those kinds of updates going next year, I could see it maybe getting up to S tier. I mean, again, let's be real. It is kind of an instant classic, but but again, this is my list, and I think the updates have kind of done a disservice this year. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it in good. Arm wrestling simulator. This is the most pay-to-win game on Roblox I've ever seen. It's going at the bottom of bad. Arsenal, man. I really love this game. I really, really do. It is an instant classic. A lot of the updates have been kind of meh lately, and a lot of other games have kind of taken the formula and done more with it, but I still love a good Arsenal match, so I'm gonna have to put an instant classic. Watermelon Go. I mean, it's the watermelon game. It's the, the Suica game. That's an S tier game. It's so much fun. Bad Business. I'm gonna throw this in good. I haven't really heard much of it this year, to be honest with you, but I really liked playing it at the beginning of the year. Please donate. I mean, let's just just be real that's gonna go at the top of instant classics shrek in the back rooms um no this might be controversial i actually kind of find this a little bit boring like i get what it's trying to do but i mean it's not it's not really that fun piggy oh man so because of the lack of updates and stuff i'd probably like be inclined to throw it in good but i mean the game ended it's one of the only games on roblox where it's like yep that's it it's done it's over and because of that it's kind of wrapped up in this nice little package of like this is the game take it or leave it, it it's got to go an instant classic i'm gonna put it up here actually sonic speed simulator i like this game a lot whenever it first came out but same thing that happens to a lot of other games Each each update was just kind of like a rehash of the last one. I think the problem with Sonic Speed Simulator can be summed up as they didn't add Shadow the Hedgehog in until like a year later. That encapsulates the problem with the game entirely. Obby, but you're on a bike. I'm gonna throw this in S tier. In fact, I'm gonna put it at the top of S tier. I really like Obby on a bike. Fun game. Create a cart ride. Again, very fun game. I'm gonna throw it in S tier. Death Ball. I mean, it's basically Blade Ball, but I, I, I don't know. I don't like it as much as Blade Ball. Ball, I'll throw it. I'll throw it right here in good. Weird Strike Dad, easy S tier game. In fact, I'm going to put it at the top of S tier. I actually really love Weird Strike Dad. As someone that has a Weird Strike Dad, or at least had one, long, long time ago, before he went to go get the milk. Um. There's only been two updates this year to Doors. One of them was at the end of January. One of them was, I think, in like August, and it was like the modifier update, so it didn't really add in really that much new content and the update in january was the hotel plus update like it was big but it wasn't like you know floor too big or next chapter big or new level big and seeing just no updates whatsoever to the game oh man it's it, it's one of those games it makes me so sad because i love doors there's just no reason to play it because there's no updates i'm gonna put it in s tier i'm gonna put it right there barry's prison run um i mean i i don't i don't know i'll put it i'll put it right there in bad Bill to survive might be controversial i find it kind of boring i'll throw it right behind shrek in the back room brookhaven 
Easy instant classic. Now, I know a lot of people really don't like Brookhaven, but the secret updates that they do with like the secret portal and the secret rods and secret houses and all that, that's a lot of fun to find and play around with and, you know, search for as a YouTuber with all of you guys. Some of the most fun I've had basically on Roblox in the past year has been searching for secrets in Brookhaven. And because of that, it's going an instant classic. I love it. This is Avi on a bike, but it's like, I, I forget, what is it called again? The bike of hell i mean it's basically obby on a bike but just not as good in my opinion i'll throw it in good why, why not spray paint this is an s tier game actually you know what the last time i joined in the spray paint i saw um yeah i i, I saw some things instant class the mimic freaking love the mimic instant classic easy big paintball too i actually really like big paintball too i'm throwing this in s tier i'll put it right right there deep woken i this is gonna be extremely controversial i find the game kind of boring i'm so sorry i find deep woken boring not really my style again flee the facility it is good maybe even i mean should i put an instant classic every game in the instant classic list is a game that i could hop in play and have fun with no matter what i don't think flee the facility does that for me i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in good that may be controversial but yeah i just don't think it's on the same level as all these other games prison life now i hate doing this i really do now i just want to say prison life is an instant classic but but because the game hasn't been updated and it's kind of been abandoned for so long there are so many bugs and things broken with the game i'm gonna probably drop it down i, I don't want to put it in these bottom two i'll drop it down to the middle of good here like there's still fun to be had in the game but the lack of updates has kind of broken it break in one and two let's just get that out of the way it's instant classic they both both are they're so good i love them get up there in fact i like break in two better than break in one y'all this game is insane this game has tens of thousands of players every single day but it hasn't been updated for like five years or something i'm gonna i'm just gonna throw it in good it, it's crazy this game just never dies it refuses to die natural disaster survival instant classic shovelware brain game s tier game one of my favorite games of the year in fact i'm gonna throw it up here bee swarm simulator uh i'm gonna put a i'm gonna put it at the top of good probably my second favorite simulator game on roblox because the first happens to now be pet simulator 99 i don't think it deserves to go an instant classic some of the recent updates have been kind of yeah in in some of the you know decisions they've taken i'll put it at the bottom of s tier i still think it's really really fun though you know besides the loot boxes horrific housing i've had so much fun on this game this year instant classic don't touch the lava i mean it's a fun game. I think there's a lot of games that do it better. So I'm going to put it in boring. I'm sorry. Controversial. I know. Survive the killer. Let's just start speed running these. Good. Evade. Oh, this is going to be controversial. Evade is s tier i don't think it's an instant classic i think it does need some you know new updates new content maybe some new game modes or something like that but it, 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 it's fun i'll put it i'll put it right 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 there pet simulator x um you know what i think this game actually got really bad it, it started out really good but by the time <laughs> pet simulator 99 came out it actually got really bad i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in bad sorry pet simulator x fans um short creepy stories one of my favorite games of the year full stop i love this this game instant classic for me i'm sorry instant classic love short creepy stories what else we got 3008 s tier game a lot of you guys would probably put this in instant classic but ah, it's not quite there for me yet catalog avatar creator i've spoken a lot on this game it is how i customize my avatar every single day it's going an instant classic for me i don't even use the roblox marketplace anymore hide and seek this is going to be extremely controversial i find this game boring I think there's a bunch of other games on Roblox that do the concept way better. And I know that's a classic Roblox game, so I'm, that, that's going to be controversial. Rainbow Friends 2, exact same problem as Doors. Doors and Rainbow Friends could be the most popular games on Roblox, but they're not because of the lack of updates. Therefore, there will be twinsies right here right underneath the instant classic tier waiting on new updates. Cheese Escape, I mean... Is, is a good game. What do you want me to say about it? I'll, I'll say it's better than Spider. Build a boat for treasure. Also slightly controversial. A lot of people would probably put it in instant classic. I'm not going to do that. It's not my favorite game in the world, but it is an S tier game. Color or Die. This game took the piggy genre and kind of improved on it in a lot of ways. So I'm going to, I'm going to put it in S tier. I'll put it I'll put it right, right there. I do like Color or Die. What's next? MM2. I mean, come on. 
instant classic. I'll put it right there in the middle. Tower of Hell. I mean, what could I say? This is also another instant classic. I'll put it right next to MM2. The Intruder, one of my favorite games of the year. S tier game. I'll put it uh, yeah, right there. And all the other games down here are games that I have just not played. So there you have it. There's my official Roblox game ranking of 2023. Let me know how dumb and stupid I am down in the comment section. I can't wait to read them. I'll see you guys next time.